Before we can have self-driving cars or more appliances connected to the Internet, we need faster Internet. And the technology that will make that happen is called 5G. And to make it happen, providers need lots and lots of cell towers. Mm -hmm. And a bill in the state house would make it easier for providers to build those towers. Catherine Brown explains. Well, faster cell service stands to benefit just about all of us, and that's the argument from wireless providers who are pushing for the right to use public rights of way, like sidewalks and power poles, to install millions of small cell towers. 5G technology could help local leaders make the leap from smartphones to smart cities. The screaming fast cellular platform of the future has the potential to link municipal services together. That will deliver things such as um, you know, better and cheaper water services, better flood monitoring, better traffic monitoring. Dan Alt with the town of Cary says 5G could even help power driverless cars. But to do it, wireless providers say they need access. Instead of building bigger towers like this one seen in video from Drone 5, providers say 5G relies on millions of small cell towers. They're lobbying the state for permission to install those on public rights of way. As soon as... Um, you move into the right of way, you join the club of water, sewer, gas, electricity, and transportation. Uh, maximizing public benefits should be where we're all starting and working back from. But telecommunications consultant Rusty Monroe says the bill being considered by lawmakers, HB 310, is heavily weighted in favor of providers, not communities. It gives them the authority, as long as they're in the rights of way, to effectively put them wherever they want. 98% of the communities are not going to know how to deal with this issue. CTIA, which represents wireless providers and supports HB 310, says providers are ready to invest $362 million in Raleigh alone to deploy 5G, and says while local governments would retain some regulatory power, a statewide system would ensure a faster rollout of 5G as cities and states compete for high-tech jobs and resources. Carytown leaders say they'd like to see the bill amended to include a mandatory partnership between local governments and wireless providers. In Raleigh, I'm Catherine Brown, WRAL News.